All right, so today's video is on the Piet's number 425 fuse. Um, this is a 3D printed model of it. It's much larger than the original one. I've done that for clarity's sake. And this is basically a video showing on, or showing how the actual thing works. It's a very simple fuse, unfortunately for the people using it. They found out that it's not a very sensitive fuse, so there was a lot of times, especially with the Canadians, that they would fire the piets at tanks and it would just bounce off and not explode. Uh, that was just caused because of the design, obviously, of the fuse. They upgraded the fuse later on, which made it a much more sensitive fuse. and removed most of the problems that were associated with the Piet. Um, it did cause another problem, but I'll get into that when I talk about that fuse there. So as I said, I decided to 3D print one of these. The regular size fuses are small, and I don't actually have one, so what I did is I made a cutaway style fuse for this. And it might be tough to see, but as you see, there's, it's very basic. As you see, it's a very basic fuse. I'll try to show off the parts of it. This, what we have is making up this fuse. Basically a solid end piece with a firing pin attached to it. Which is, here you don't see it because I didn't do it, but you crimp. It's crimped into the tube. Firing pin is not movable, it will not go back. Then you've got a spring. And then you have the, I'll call it a carrier, or a carrier. In here we would have a primer, obviously a sensitive primary. And then you have another, almost a booster, but it's more of a, just a larger primer. And this is just a washer to hold it all in place. This doesn't move either. It's held in place. And the gap here is what interacts with the rest of the Piet bomb. If you get a picture of one, you'll see right away how it goes. Anyways, as I said, it's a very simple fuse. Spring basically just prevents it from detonating if you drop the piet. So by any impacts will keep it from actually moving. You don't see. In This is almost like a reverse bazooka fuse. Or the original bazooka fuse, should I say? Anyways. So that spring keeps it from creeping forward. I don't know why it's not really focusing properly, but anyways. Keeps it from creeping forward in case you drop it or it falls out of the piet for whatever reason. So when this is fired, Nothing in here hap nothing happens in here at all. But when it comes and hits a target, the inertia or momentum from this whole carrier here continues going. It's not too smooth, so I'm just gonna use a thing to do it. But the whole bomb stops when it hits a solid surface. This continues going, impacts on the firing pin, firing pin ignites it, spark comes out of the back here, ignites this one here which makes it a much larger detonation I guess you would call it, which would then in it can, like set off the rest of the bomb. So they said very simple. 
compared to the uh, 426, which I'll make in another video. But as long as you hit a solid object straight on, there is no problem with it. The problem was is if you hit it on a glancing shot, your force lines are not going through the spring directly, so it takes a lot more force to move it forward. The Piat bomb wasn't going very fast, so that won't help you much. A direct hit, the chances would basically be nearly 100% that it would go off no, unless you had a soft surface, which is why these fuses were pretty much only used on tanks and hard surfaces, using it for um, indirect fire would sometimes not do anything because it would not actually set off the bombs. If it landed in soft dirt, you would have a problem with it. So this also, this reason here also did kill a few people. <clears throat> so the bomb's not going to go off or anything inside the piet or on the piet, but because of the fact that it's not going off when it hits a tank, you do have an, an, a bit of an issue if the tank figures out where you are which happens after a few shots. There's a case mentioned where the Canadians were firing on, I don't remember what it was, which tank it was, I've... but they were firing on a German tank and they took three shots at it before the tank found out where they were and destroyed the firing team. So killed the people in the Piet team because Every time they fired one, it bounced off the tank. So yes, very basic design on this fuse, made obsolete by the 426 fuse, which was a much more sensitive fuse and more intelligently, I guess, designed for use against different targets. Anyways. Hope you enjoyed this, very basic, but since I've never seen any other videos out there about these fuses, I just thought I was going to make one. Anyways, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write them in the comments, and uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.